stranded out into the ocean on a boat that broke down on you? Didn't think so. Well, apparently I'm in this situation right now. The this vehicle is fine. Beautiful vehicle is what is known as a dodo. Um you know dodos are actually extinct, so as it would happen, maybe this car is pretty bad. I mean, it does float on water and it yep, it floats on water. That's the plus it has. And that can help us out if you find a good way to combat it. Um, say, you, but the one thing is, it's, it's just, it's just, like, it's not exactly survivable, Eon. All it takes is for both rudders on the sides of the not rudders, what the hell am I talking about? It's for both thingies on the side, you know what I'm talking about, and the wings for them to break, and then this will happen. Um, it will stall, uh, you'll be able to fly it for about 50 seconds more, maybe a minute. Then it'll basically shit itself, fall down, and then you'll be stranded in the middle of the ocean. That, or you'll be stranded in the middle of the inland, or the plane just didn't explode. Pegasus will send you a, um, a text, of course, being the jolly bunch they are. But besides that, you're pretty much stranded, and it's just, you're just here. But, good thing Meriwether have a thing called Pickup Boat. But, <sighs> really, you're gonna pay $250 for some creepy guy to come up? Take you on his boat, take you back to shore. Why don't you just swim back to shore? I mean, it's gonna take twice the time, but yeah, it's free. But while you're swimming, you're gonna probably pay your mechanic. You're gonna sell your, do your, uh, utility, and you're probably gonna spend 250 anyway. Uh, that, that is the city, the city of Los Santos. May be not that many big giant buildings but it's still good it's st still good it's a city of light a uh, good thing about the another good thing about this plane is when it's adrift it will keep on moving forward until you reach land pretty much so you're not going to be stuck on one spot uh, you're actually going to be moving uh, that is another plus I guess of being stranded out with a dodo However, another minus to that is it takes a goddamn long time. You're moving at exactly a kilometer an hour. A kilometer an hour. Probably less than that. Um. So yeah, you're, you're adrift at sea. Um. You don't, you're, you fear going into the water because there might be some sharks. You don't have the money to pay for a guy to pick you up. And you're on your dodo, slowly adrift, heading off to 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 the looks like the airport right there. Looks like the airport. Um, but then you notice you're getting really hungry, and this could take a matter of days. So you need some snacks. And what exactly are you gonna eat? Yourself. Okay. Unless you pack some good old snacks in the the tank tub. You're not going to be eating anything for about a couple of days. So, sitting, standing up is not what you want to do, actually. It's actually not what you want to do. Um, as it can really stress, like, add some stress onto your legs. So, just staying in the airplane. But I can't go back into the airplane because, well, this is a video game. And you can't exactly go back into something that is broken in this video game. So, it's just annoying. Falling into water is detrimental. Um, soon your plane will take fire. For some reason. My, um. Your plane will take fire. Why is my tank on? Why, why is my boat on fire? Yeesh. I don't know 
what's happened. My boat is literally on fire right now. It is flaming. Damn, I need to send an SOS flare. Good thing I have 20. Well, need to call for some help? Shoot a flare up into the sky. Works about 0% of the time, but uh, makes a pretty good light show. I guess. I guess. Anyway, you want someone to save you before your plane explodes, so you're gonna want to send up quite a few flares if you want to keep your life. So, I've shot up like 50,000 flares, actually only 5 flares. Still, no one's coming. Um, great, all I need is for this plane to explode and then it's over. Um, to stay afloat but not get too harmed by the uh, explosion. You're gonna wanna head onto that wing over there. Um, it's, f it's so much further away from the blast and you'll probably die anyway, so um, yeah. And you'll fall back into the water, sadly. But you're thinking, this plane won't blow up. It's on the goddamn ocean. Well, yes, probably. I, I don't know. GTA physics are all around the place. So who knows? But I do. So I'm just gonna jump up onto the wing. It should be, it should be here at the edge of the wing. There. Oh, pretty. You can see the blast right now. It's right there. Like that's like where it's gonna blast. And then if you're like someone to to like shoot it, like so. See, nothing's happening. So as far as that goes, you're pretty much safe. It's just a random fire that won't really do anything over time. Uh, it's some fun for you while you're stranded in the ocean. So, now we've got some serious black smoke sprouting from the nose. It's like a beard. But, hey, we're closer and oh, we're not exactly going to die. And, of course, the plane explodes! And I was being stupid the whole time. Gotta love physics. But hey, now you're on the uh, the ocean because now you're on the beach because physics. So that was my idea of not getting yourself killed while on a boat. Comments: What do you think I should have done? Um, comments: What do you think I should have done? I mean, it would have been a pretty dull video just waiting all the way to get to get there didn't have to like call a cab or something so um i was just alleviating the boredom there so yeah uh put um any more videos if you want me to do on how to survive different scenarios um uh, those will be pretty much great sort of sort of but not you know just Alrighty guys, guys, this video will be a non-edited video, um, I've made about one of these already, that's already got a comment on it, so I'm just gonna do the same thing 